your wife. <laughs> Alright, so hey Scott, welcome back to my channel. So today by the title we are doing another episode. Guys, in the last episode, I think it was the proposal or like finding out if they proposed or whatever. So that is what's gonna happen. Are we going to be a fiance? Are we gonna get married? I don't know. I think it's a little too soon, but that's just my opinion. So let's just jump into today's episode and see the tea and drama and all that and if we're getting married or not. Cool? Okay, great. The journey passes by in a heartbeat and before you know it, you're stepping out of the limo. Wow, it's so beautiful. And this is where we get left. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Madison, Colt, you look simply stunning. Thanks, Wena. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you because I have something really important to ask you. Um, if it has anything to do with the marriage, the answer is no. Um, he's really proposing? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's happening. It's happening and honestly, I wasn't sure what to say tonight. I, I don't know what to say either. Like, do I say yes or no? You know? Words don't seem enough to express how much I love you, how deeply I adore you. And that's when it struck me before now. I've always felt a need to hide my feelings. I've always held back when it came to love, to relationships. But with you, I don't need to hide anymore. I... <laughs> This is just so emotional for me. I feel my feelings more than I ever have in my life. I feel my love for you deeper than anything I'd ever known before this. That's great. And it's so completely overwhelming, but at the same time, amazing. Okay. I never expected to find love on this show, but honestly, from the moment I met you, I've just been totally overwhelmed by you. You are everything I've ever wanted. And even more, and you're everything I never knew I needed. You're everything. Oh, that's so cute, but it's so cheesy. Honestly, I think I would just laugh if someone proposed at me. Like, I really would. That's such a bad reaction, but I really... <laughs> I would just be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Imagine me laughing. Okay. Will you be my everything forever? Forever is a very long time, Colt. Um... Mm, I don't know. Will you marry me? Yes. Sure. Well, sure is the same thing as yes, right? So why do I need to go pay the coin? But, like, sure is just like, hmm. Sure, I guess I'll marry <laughs> I'll just say yes. Yay, I'm so excited. No, I'm not. I've only known you for like two weeks. Yes. Yay. I'm so happy. Me too. Wait, do you have a ring? He proposed to us without a ring. So, no, you did not. Can I see it? Yes, that's the best part. I couldn't decide which ring I wanted to give you, so I thought I'd let you pick. Wait, what? Okay, <laughs> Now I'm being like, ooh, no, don't be like this. Let me pick. What do you mean? Come with me. Oh, oh my god, five rings? He guides you to a table. Oh my gosh. You can pick any ring you like. Any of them? Like any? Like any? Like it doesn't matter? Any of them. But they're all so expensive. You're worth it. And if he's a millionaire, like, he wouldn't really care, right? Maybe. I don't know. Pick your favorite. Okay, let's choose our favorite ring. Okay, we have... This one? Ooh, these are some pretty rings, you guys. Okay. But like, I think I like the first one. Like the little square diamond with the little, you know, diamonds around the band. Why not? Oh, one carat princess cut diamond. <laughs> that sounds expensive. That's fine. <laughs> Beautiful choice. Now let me put it on. I have to pay for him. I have to pay for it. I just paid to say yes. I should have just said sure. Tell him that you don't want his ring. I don't want to wear your ring. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's actually so rude. Imagine if you don't like it, the ring that your fiance got you. That's embarrassing. Oh my god, look at that. She said, Simon, our girl's best friend, period. Aw, engaged. You sit down to a beautiful meal together and Cole opens a bottle of wine. Let's celebrate our engagement. I can't believe they're engaged, you guys. Doesn't this seem a little bit weird to you? Is it just me? Our engagement, that sounds so perfect. Well, not really the word I was looking for. I was thinking like weird or something like that. You're my fiance now. Yeah, and you're mine. And you're my fiance. I'm pretty sure you, you guys, you guys didn't even go from like boyfriend to like, you just went from, hi, nice to meet you. This is my fiance. A toast to the first day of the rest of our lives, to our engagement, our marriage, and our future. Well, you guys don't really know if there's a future with you. The next day you make your way back to the villa. It's so quiet, I wonder where everyone is. Me too. Let me text Summer real quick. Hey, where are you? Did you guys get back yet? Yeah, we're back. Come join us. Open. Um, I'd rather not join you guys in the hot tub. Thank you, but no thank you. Why don't we join them with a bottle of champagne? That sounds great. Pick your hot tub swimsuit. Ooh, I actually like the yellow. Let's go with that for once. Hey guys, congratulations. Congratulations to you too. 
let's get the celebration started. Wait, are they engaged too? Or is it just us? I'm confused. Are you guys or is it just me? The four of you relax in the hot tub with glasses of champagne as you talk about your different proposals. And then he got down on one knee and I was crying so hard I could barely see him. It's true, she was sobbing. I just wanted to get up and hug her. I was just so emotional. Ask Madison, I missed you so much. I was a wreck. Yeah, because you guys have attachment issues. Yeah. Well, now we never have to be apart again. Unless, you know, you break up, then you will. Show me your ring. Oh, pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Let me see yours. She's sparkly. <laughs> wow. Cole, you have great taste. Thank you. Madison chose it herself though. I wanted my wife to always have exactly what she wants. Your wife? <laughs> so mind if I do. Good thing all I want is you. Oh my gosh, you guys are so adorable. Can I just say, I'm so happy that we got to meet each other. You guys are so genuine. I really hope we can stay friends after the show. Of course. Let's raise a glass to Madison Colt. Congratulations on your engagement. May your marriage be filled with love, laughter, and lots of sex. Yay. Summer. What, am I wrong? No, but that's not the point, okay? Anyways, cheers to you guys. You are beautiful souls. I'm so glad you found one another. To Madison and Colt. And I think Madison and I should raise a glass to you guys too. Madison, would you like to say a few words? Oh, why can't you say them? Why does it have to be me? Make a sweet tooth fast this summer. Tell them you don't really have anything nice to say. Guys, that's our best friend. How are we supposed to say that? No, we have to, no. What's wrong with these options? As of when you went away, summer was a wreck. Honestly, she cried so much. I was worried she might need an IV, but I saw in those moments how strong her love for you was, how deep her devotion. I'm so grateful to know you both. You're such a perfect couple and I know our friendship will last long after the show ends. Let's raise a glass to Summer and Aza. To Summer and Aza. I think we should make this an annual tradition, the anniversary of our engagements. Let's go on vacation together, drink champagne and celebrate one another. That sounds amazing. Let's do it. The four of you continue sipping champagne into the hot tub. So where's Lilith and her man? Mm, mm -hmm. Talking about the future of the show and the finale, we're out of champagne. Let's go grab another bottle. Just one. Better make it two. We have a lot of celebrating to do. Because you're an idiot. That's why. Oh. Sounds like the couples are fighting. Is that Lilith? I asked you to stop calling me names. Poor guy. She's actually toxic as hell. Stop calling me names. Do you hear how pathetic you are? You're meant to be a man, but you're such a whiny little bitch. Aw, yeah, and you're just a bitch, Lilith, so. <laughs> Lilith? What's wrong? Does it hurt you little feelings when I point out what an idiot you are? Have you ever thought that maybe if you didn't act like such an idiot, I wouldn't need to call you one? Yeah, it takes one to know one, doesn't it, Lilith? Yeah. I don't have to take this. Yes, you do. You're my fiance now, or did you forget? Well, there's this thing called breaking up. Yeah, he doesn't have to be your fiance if he doesn't want to. How could I forget? Well, you better start acting more loved up or there's no way we're making it to the finale. Is he a player and he wants to win money? Is that why? So if you don't stop acting like an idiot and start acting like my fiance, then me calling you an idiot will be the least of your problems. She's crazy. She really is. God, she's awful. Poor Kier. Shoot, he's coming. Oh, hey guys. Hey Kier, are you okay? What? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I just got engaged. I'm great. It's okay to not be okay, you know. You overheard us, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, it's not like you guys were being overly quiet. Shit. I'm sorry. I just, I'm so miserable. I can imagine she was saying such terrible things to you in there. You haven't even heard the worst of it. Screw her. Come outside with us. We're having a party. You are? Yeah, and you're invited. Come on. Yeah, champagne and hot tub party. That sounds like exactly what I need right now. Thank you guys. What do you say, Madison? The more the merrier, come. Sorry, no, Ex I'm sorry. He has to come with us, okay? No, he's welcome. Yeah, come on, let's all get back out there. Hey, look what else we brought. Here, how was your proposal? The less said about it, the better. Let's talk about anything but Lilith. Great. Why don't we talk about refilling these glasses and carry on this party? That sounds amazing. Tell me about your guys' proposal. Summer can talk until the cows come home about hers. And for a good reason. So let me set the scene. It was dark. I stepped out of the limo. You spent the evening together drinking, laughing, and telling jokes. Oh, oh, okay. They're in bed now. All right. Okay. That night, Colt holds you close in your bed, his fingertips stroking your arm comfortingly. Comforting. Com com why? Why? Comforting. Mm. Comfortingly. There we go. Okay. What's wrong? Huh? You feel so tense. Is it about the elimination tomorrow? No, you're so at ease. Yeah, we might get eliminated. Great. Mm -hmm. How could you tell? Well, I like to think I know you pretty well by now. Yeah, I can't really say the same for you because I you could be lying. I can tell when something's wrong because you get this little line in the middle of your forehead and your jaw starts clenching and unclenching. Just like that. Wow, you do know me well. Yeah, it's the elimination tomorrow. Why are you worried? I mean, our proposal went perfectly, but you never know how the audience will see things or if they will decide to vote tactically for the 
the sake of drama. What do you mean? I just keep thinking, we probably have a one third chance of going home tomorrow. Which doesn't make me feel great, but I ultimately think at this point, we've done all we can do. Exactly, and the most important thing to remember is, nothing that happens tomorrow will change about the way I feel about you. Hmm. Hmm, is it because, you know, you're, you're, you're a player? Is that why? Yeah, we'll find out. I'm yours, you're mine, forever, right? I'm yours forever, I love you. I really doubt we'll last forever. Yeah, honestly, like, this is a 50-50 chance. Like, it's like a 10% chance, really, that we're gonna last. But I guess I'm yours forever. Hmm. I'm yours forever, for longer than forever. I'm yours, Colt, and I'm yours. There will never be anyone else for me. Mm, that's what everyone says. Yeah, even if I live to be 100 years old, what about 200? Even if by some medical miracle I live to be a thousand, I would never know a love like this. I would never meet anyone who could alter me the way you have. I love you, Madison. Aww, that's nice. I love you so much. The two of you spend the night wrapped in one another's arms. The next day passes in a blur until you're standing on the stage waiting to hear who is being eliminated. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Don't Hate the Player semi-final, where this week we watch our couples get engaged. That's right, three sets of the fiance stand before us, but only two can make it to the finale. The audience voted based on your romance factor of your proposals. They were looking for who they truly believe is a genuine couple. So without further ado, let's announce our runner-up couple. This couple got the second highest score for their proposal, and they are Lilith and Kier. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, is everyone just blind? Do they not see that Lilith absolutely hates her partner and he hates her? Mm. And I'm sorry, they got proposed in a chicken shop. Like, the math ain't math, y'all. What? Are you serious? Hey, you know what they say, hate the game, and the audience is definitely playing one. Who said the players were exclusively for the contestants? So now we need to announce our winning couple and who is going home. I already know Summer's gonna go home. Her boyfriend's actually, or her fiance now, was actually a player, but then he fell in love with her, and then I already know. Like, I already know, like, I can just tell, guys, I know. The couple joining Lilith and Kira in the semifinal is, <gasps> it's us. Find out after this commercial break. Are you kidding me right now, seriously? Don't hate the, guys, that was such a quick episode. Oh my God. Okay, guys, so I already know what's gonna happen though. I know Summer's gonna go with Azza and they're gonna dip and he was a player and yeah. So that either, maybe, maybe Colt is the millionaire then because Lilith, whoop, because Lilith was like, you better win this or we have to win the finale, you know? So maybe Colt is the millionaire. Maybe, maybe I was wrong this entire time. I don't know, but guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this. Also, start coming down, whoa, start commenting down some new suggestions, but I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below. I love y'all. Don't forget to love yourself. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out, scopes. Bye.